Hi guys, this is Gus, the African plant hunter. This is a very special behind the scenes episode to show you a sneak preview of my new chariot. I say new in the most inverted of inverted commas because I think a 1994 vehicle, 331,000 kilometers on the clock, isn't classified as new by anyone's standards really. But she is new to me. This is a, as I'm sure you can hear from the engine sound and my upright seating position, if nothing else, this is, of course, a Land Rover Defender uh, 300 TDI, which I first came across in uh, Chisirira National Park in northwestern Zimbabwe, where she was being used by a uh, charity there that were working with national parks. Sadly, the very, very, very tough conditions in Chisirira eventually overwhelmed her and she subsided into a rusting heap, which she stayed like that for about three to four years. And then I was able to persuade her owners to sell her to me. And a mechanic friend of mine in Victoria Falls has been working on her to get the engine back up and running, uh, the gearbox in good condition. And this is my first test drive. So it's very, very exciting. I've gone out into the bush just near Victoria Falls, uh, just off from Kazangula Airstrip, which is the airstrip that I operate out of when I'm doing flying for wildlife. And uh, some quite deep sound here. So we're uh, experimenting with the low range diff lock uh, just to see how it goes. And as always, as African plant hunter supporters, you guys are coming along for the ride. It's not a very fast ride. I don't think anyone drives a Land Rover Defender with the intention of going at speed. But this is how I spend a lot of my time driving in the bush in quite tough conditions. And of course, Defenders are absolutely made for that. And yeah, we've got it in low range. We've got the diff lock on. Uh, and we're just giving her a first test run. And I must say, so far, she feels and sounds sweet. So I figure I may as well stop and give you guys the proper tour. First question you're probably asking is why I need another vehicle. And it's a good question because I do already have a Land Rover Defender, which is my usual bush car these days and uh, i love her very much she's perfect for me but she's only a two-seater because i usually travel with my friend dave the photographer uh cameraman and uh, then sometimes we need to take a park ranger or a local guide or something so we need a third seater and there isn't a third seat in that one so i figured if i could get this one up and running this one is a four-door i think fancy about it at all it's very basic very simple it's all kind of a bit, you know, rattly and fully a party and the rubbers are all fairly perished and there's no other windows here. Everything rattles, makes a lot of noise. Not a lot to look at in terms of a dashboard. Of course, it does come with Land Rover's very advanced air conditioning engineering. A few dents and dings. In its previous existence, nothing to do with me, but I'm fairly sure I'll put a few more in. Now let's have a look at the inside. You can see quite a lot of grass seeds there. It's a 300 TDI, which is, uh, yeah, many people say the best engine that was built by Land Rover and certainly very, very, very solid and reliable one. Let's hear how uh, that motor sounds dazzling array of gauges we've got a speedometer we've got a fuel gauge we've got a temperature gauge and we've got a clock that doesn't work so that's cool not too many things to have to think about but that's the engine and i'm sure you can hear that definitely sounding good huh so that's an insider's view of my new speed out here in the african bush uh, we still got quite a lot of work to do on her and you will see her evolving over the next year or two Hopefully to the perfect plant hunting vehicle. All right guys. Hope you enjoyed it plenty more if you did YouTube Instagram Facebook just catch me there 
Uh, me, I'm just going to continue on my little odyssey to test out this new baby, about which I am extremely excited. All right, take it easy. I'll catch you later. Bye.